everybody, it's me again, and welcome to the latest Imagination Gaming Room Tour. The last one I did was like two years ago, and uh, a lot's changed, so I think it's high time that I updated the room tour with a new video. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. On we go. First thing first is a new calendar. Last time I had an Assassin's Creed Unity calendar, I think, or Game of Thrones calendar, I don't remember. But it's a Star Wars calendar now. It's got stuff like Stormtroopers and A New Hope and Darth Vader. And my birth month is C3PO and R2D2, which is awesome. And yeah, Boba Fett. He's cool. So yeah, this is a bunch of Star Wars stuff. <laughs> uh, and also with the calendar came to Star Wars Let the Grass, which I'll show you in a sec. So right below the calendar is a poster that a friend got for me at San Francisco Comic Con, which is kind of cool. I didn't go, for the record. But, uh... Yeah, he still got me a poster, which was really cool. My Dead Space sticker's still there. Uh, my bookshelf things are pretty much the same, but I've reorganized a bit. My tomahawks down here now, and no longer hold tear ties. My hidden blades are here now. Uh, cane sword's here too. Jacob and Evie's cane sword, which is awesome. And uh, my books are all still down there, those are the same. There's a bunch of plushies with a random disc, I don't need this here. On this shelf, uh, you guys will probably recognize some of these from the last room tour. Uh, the others I dug out of my closet, they were just kind of sitting there and I felt bad, like Dr. Mickey. Uh, my friend Sarah got that for me when I had to miss like a week of school in 8th grade because I was sick. So my first day back, she and another friend got me that, which is really awesome. And I still have it, it's still there, so yeah. And then up here, pretty much everything's the same except for the giraffe I got from the Santa Barbara Zoo a couple of years ago. And, uh, yeah, two new Funko Pops. I have Freddy Fazbear and Nathan Drake. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And then up here, everything is pretty much the same. Um, this is like my Assassin's Creed shelf. I've got Syndicate here now that I've 100%ed it and all the games. The last time I did a room tour, I had this, but I hadn't read it yet. But I've read it now, and it's really good, and I like it. And I don't believe I had this last time. There's only like 150 bronze Altair busts that they sold and I managed to get one, so I'm super excited. And I also have a blood vial there, which I've shown off in a couple of my videos. But other than that, yeah, pretty much the same. And my Assassin's Creed Funko Pops are all up here now. Since I didn't have enough space for them down here, they are now up here. Complete with Jacob and Evie Fry, you guys are new, and Elise. I have Elise now, which is awesome. So yeah, and then the cat and the creepy doll that watches me sleep at night, and the lava lamp, which burns with the heat of Satan. Uh, I don't know if I had you last time, but I have a giant, like here, here's my hand, like to scale, <laughs> a giant Yoda. Uh, he doesn't do anything, like he doesn't talk or nothing, he just kind of sits there and he wears a Mickey Mouse hat. And then there's my purse, which is not eventful. So I had a shelf here last time, but it was a lot smaller. It's bigger now and it's mostly just for makeup and sunglasses and hair stuff, so that's not exciting. My necklaces are down here now on several pegs that don't get tangled, and this is where my hair ties are now. So they're not down on the tomahawk anymore, they're just up there. And you, I don't know if I showed you off in the last one, but you're Huey. Push his tummy and he lights up. It's cool. Okay, you guys remember the uh, box poster for Assassin's Creed 3 that I elaborated on last time? That's over here now. And these are the Star Wars lithographs I was mentioning before. My poster was like 15 bucks. And it came with the calendar plus two lithographs up here. And I managed to, I luckily had frames for them. So yeah, I love them. Big Assassin's Creed poster still there. Okay, so if we just turn right around, bed is extraordinarily uneventful. So we'll just skip right over that. Hat rack's still here. I got some new stuff on it, but not really. This is the hat that my Older sister got for me in Chile. I've worn that in a couple videos already. Of uh, Dishonored 2, I think. And I have a Viking beard, which I've worn in a couple of episodes. Everything else pretty much the same. Everything's pretty much the same over here too. Except I have my movie ticket for Rogue One there now. <laughs> which is cool. And uh, I have a voucher from the very first time I went gambling at Chuck Chauncey, which is a casino like 15 minutes away from my house. And I won four cents! Yes! I quit while I was ahead, of course. But yeah, that's pretty much the same of everything over here. And uh, over here is pretty much the same too, except for one new thing. Uh, all my figurines are still here in the exact same order. We got Connor, Edward, Altair, Ezio, Arno, and uh, but now over here, 
we have two new additions. We have Jacob and Evie Fry. Uh, Jacob I got with my collector's edition uh, of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but Evie I bought separately. However, she arrived, first she got lost in the mail. I didn't think I was ever gonna get it, so they gave me a refund, but I got the package anyway. However, she did come damaged. Her dagger was broken, although I've super glued it, so it, you can't even tell. But she still got a hole in her foot. <laughs> so, she's a little broken, but I got her for free, so I ain't complaining. All right, so over here is a peg with headsets on it. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. There's just wires dangling from the ceiling, from the wall and stuff. But this is my PS4 headset that I used to record. This is my Xbox One and PC headset, and this is a backup. This thing's probably close to five, six, seven, maybe even years old. And the microphone doesn't work anymore, but the headset works just fine, so. And I believe this poster is new too. Um, I, I got Assassin's Creed Syndicate poster, which I hang right over here, which is cool, next to Connor. <laughs> and I have an Evie Fry lithograph, which came with the statue in the box. So you're up there now, which is pretty cool. And let's see. I'm saving the setup for last, so I'm kind of avoiding getting it on camera. <laughs> Everything over here is pretty much the same, except, oh this, right, I didn't have this last time. This is a ginormous Star Wars poster. It has pretty much everything you can possibly think of. The reflection's bad, I know, sorry. Every character and robot and ship you can possibly think of from the prequels and the original trilogy. So this was made before Rogue One and Episode Seven were a thing, but it's still, awesome and I love it and it's huge so like this is my hand to scale it's ginormous and I love it <laughs> this is where my colonial Assassin's Creed 3 flag was but I had to take it down to make room for the uh, for the whiteboard however I'm gonna find a place to put it I'm gonna put it somewhere I just need to figure out where <laughs> but as you can see there's a uh, second hat rack here which yeah, there's nothing new on this one. It's pretty much the same as the last time I showed it to you. And then over here we have the desk, um, which is right next to my computer setup. Um, let's see, anything, well I guess there's this. I haven't opened this yet, I've had it for over a week and I haven't opened it yet because I don't have the PlayStation camera. So it's just kinda sitting there for now. Uh, you guys, if you guys wanna throw a name at me, cause I'm, I, I wanna name it, I just can't think of anything. Put your suggestions down in the comments. What should I name the VR headset when I eventually do an unboxing video? Down here I just got more books. These are mostly drawing books and books I've already read. There's my Foxy plushie. He's so cute. Xbox 360 games that are backward compatible. Stay right there, plus the spare controller. Box of batteries for controllers. And then those are all my Game Informer issues right down there. I keep bubble wrap because it's fun to pop. <laughs> So that's pretty much everything with this desk. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, my new setup. If you remember, this is the corner where the TV used to be. And that desk used to be right along in here. Not anymore. <laughs> I got a HD monitor. I think it's like a 23 or I don't know, 20 something inch monitor if you're measuring it diagonally, which they do, which is weird. Um, I got that for Christmas. Um, it is a dual monitor for my PC, so I can switch back and forth. But also I can switch the videos, there's buttons on the side here, and you can switch to different videos or outputs or whatever so I can film my Xbox One and my PS4 right there. Both of which are over here. If you guys remember this stand, Tomahawk used to be up here with all the hair ties on it. Game Informer magazines used to be down here. I have ripped off the back of it, and now I'm using it as a shelf for all my consoles. So my Xbox One is here, along with controller and desk lamp, which I have yet to use, but I keep it there in case I need more light. But it doesn't block the fan, so don't worry. <laughs> and then down here are all my games. Mostly PS4 at this point, but I have a lot of digital games on the Xbox One, thanks to Games for Gold. And I just got this in the mail yesterday, so VR playthrough coming soon. And then down here is my capture device and PS4 controller, which plugs into my computer up there. And uh, down here is my PS4. But yeah, so I guess I can show you guys right now. Uh, here, you take my Xbox One controller, turn it on, there he goes. Okay, and then over here I switch HDMI 1 is Xbox One, so then we switch it, voila, 
And then if we were to take this, turn on my PS4. Now my PS4 is on and switch it to HDMI 2, which is PS4. There he is. Isn't that cool? So I can play games across all three platforms right here on the same screen. And my webcam is up there, so it films from over here. Isn't that cool? It's so much more professional. And I just realized I have like a smudge on the screen there. I need to fix that. I don't even know how that got there. That probably, actually, I know exactly how that got there. I was playing Star Wars Battlefront and got so mad, I flipped off my screen a little too vigorously and dinked the, the screen. So yeah, but okay, that's PS4. And uh, now I'm gonna shut them all off because I'm not using them right now. So I suppose I should say, yeah, my Xbox One's name is Emile, which I've gone into detail before. It's a French name, which means to excel. And then down here, my PS4's name is Jedi because the very first game I bought for it was Star Wars Battlefront so me and my friend Sarah could play together. And again, I don't have a name for the VR headset yet, so go ahead and post what you want uh, its name to be down in the comments. I was thinking like Victor because it starts in V and ends in R or Vladimir. <laughs> His name could be Vladimir. Oh, that's funny. But okay, so I also use the dual monitor here for PC to draw. You see my tablets here. We have both black flag wallpapers up now. That's ironic. Okay. Okay, so this is basically how my capture works. First thing you gotta do is whether you get a download code or a disc with the capture, you have to install it on your PC. And that's what this little icon down there is. That little record button right there. That's the software for Roxio Game Capture. Now basically, it's the same for either Xbox One or PS4. All you need are at the very least two HDMI cables. I use three because it's easier. What you need to do, the rhyme that, well it's not a rhyme, but the little like reminder that I always use because it's alliteration basically is top TV bottom box as you see on this. So based on which way the letters face, Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, top is up here, bottom is here. The top HDMI cable plugs into the back of your TV or your monitor, and then bottom box, so the bottom HDMI cable goes into the back of your console. And that's it. So you do that, and then, whoops, it failed. Well, I guess first things you probably wanna do is turn on the console. I'm using my Xbox One as a reference right now. So turn the Xbox One back on. You go ahead and have a seat. You click on your little software button right over there. All right, and then you take the USB cable, once your console's on, go ahead and plug it. What's well, plugged in there right now? That's my keyboard, I can take that out temporarily. Into a spare USB slot, and just put it into your computer there. This is my main monitor over here. And I've come to find that if you're using a monitor, like a dual monitor system like this, the capture won't pop up if it's not on your main display. So you can switch the main display to whatever you want, but mine is over here. So just for good measure, pull up the software, this is what you get, click capture, and then I'll go ahead and just switch to the Xbox One video, and well bam, there it is. And then all you have to do down here is click start capture, make sure it's saved where you want to, and bam, there you go. That's my new setup now. So whether I'm playing Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, this is where, this is where I play. So it's a lot more organized. We'll do a little 360 view with my desk in the way. Okay, there we go. So that's my room tour. I love this room. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the new setup. If there's any other questions you have, something I forgot to cover or whatever. And uh, I'll be sure to respond. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and favorite if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in my next video. Farewell, friends.